Welcome back to Mumford Restoration, and we want to show you a piano we've just received, but please go to our website, mumfordrestoration.com, or to our YouTube channel, at Mumford Restoration, and let us know what we can restore for you. Today we've received this piano that came directly from a purchase at an auction, the Bobby Langston Auction Company in Wilson, and it is a 90-inch grand piano built in 1885 in London. It's a John Broadwood and Sons from London. So my first concern was, well, does it have the latest action or is it one of the older research and development actions? So we've determined that the action is definitely sufficient. It definitely has, uh, the bridges are okay. The soundboard has some cracks in it. So we're gonna be doing a technical evaluation of this piano. We have real ivories. Now you can see that it has rosewood pedals and the whole case is built from rosewood. I'm going to stand here and show you that some of the very hand cut rosewood veneer has broken off. So you see that it's a yellow pine underneath. We're going to be uh, putting back the rosewood veneer and you can see the rosewood on the sides. The piano is not looking too bad but the color has faded dramatically like the other Kanabi Grand you have, may have seen in our other videos. Right here is the lid. So as we move forward here on the lid, you can see that the rosewood has been subjected to sunshine and has faded. And here is where some of the original richer color is, you know, the deeper rosewood color. And you see the faded. And so now the customers will be in the decision process of let's evaluate for technical, make sure that we're going to be able to make it into an instrument that his daughter can play well. And then secondly, will he be wanting to restore the piano or just make repairs? We have a hinge repair, we have some fading, and we have veneer repair. So these are the decisions that every customer has to make. Where do we stop for budget and are we going to go all the way? And a lot of times people get excited and they totally let us restore it and that's when we get excited. Thank you for watching. Welcome back to Mumford Restoration and we're doing some continuing work on the Broadwood and Sons Grand from London, 1885. I believe this piano was made in 1883. So it's really a unique piano. You can see the John Broadwood and Sons here. This is the key slip. This is the Rosewood music desk and we've now gotten approval. So we're going to be doing some major restoration to this piano. We're going to be repairing all the rosewood veneer that's missing. We're going to be oiling and waxing because it is 135 years old. So we're not going to be refinishing the wood. We're going to be oiling and waxing. And then I want to show you how the action looks different than a piano that is uh, currently being made nowadays. So I'm going to pull this out. And we want to show you something unique. This is the research and development of developing a new action for a piano. So this is what we would call, hey, the, the level one or level two in order to get to the way that a piano is built nowadays. And if you look closely here, you can see that this is where the tuners have written their name. It shows the tuner from 1897 and 1899 and 1900 and 1902 and 1904 and then it continues and shows all the times that it was tuned. It's really a cool. It has original, original ivories that are going to be polished and repaired. And then you can see that some of the hammers have problems. Some of the repeat doesn't work. And you see some people have duct taped the hammer shanks there. So we're going to be doing a major restoration and repair. And then we're going to be polishing and keeping the original strings to see if we can bring back the life because I believe it was restrung sometime in its history. So now I'm going to push the action back in and you can see then how the key slip fits back into the piano right here like this and then the cheek block. Thanks for watching. One more piece we wanted to talk about is that we had this hinge missing when it came from the auction. The whole brass piece was missing so we had it sand casted and made a match to the original hinge that was still here. So we uh, created a new hinge that matched and reinstalled. So that was a pretty important project as well. So you can see it's almost a seven foot grand. 
and with a very long lid, and that hinge was pretty vital in keeping this together.